Mr. <coughs> I want to take a question from Don Braid so I can find out what's going on in caucus right now. <laughs> as news conferences go, this was really unconventional. Whereas the Premier basically allowed a departing minister to launch his leadership campaign. I think that uh, what we have in common, what the Progressive Conservative Association of Alberta has in common with the Wild Rose is more important than our differences. And uh, I have concerns about vote splitting. And my goal has been stated repeatedly in public uh, over the past six months is to bring the two parties back together. And I think, uh, I think the mothership is the Progressive Conservative Association of Alberta. Well, that's, um, I think, highly optimistic and also a little patronizing. I don't know how Minister Morton figures that will happen, that I, I gather he figures he'll win the leadership and then I'll just roll the party into the PCs. I, I think that that is pretty delusional. I would say, though, today that this is a real signal of a government in disarray, uh, quite aside from the, the bright faces that they're trying to put on. I, I think that there's some real division in caucus over the budget. And I think Albertans now have some real uncertainty about what the budget is actually going to look like. In fact, I think a lot of Albertans are fairly embarrassed about the, un ha the happenings of this week, that we have to put important decisions of this government on hold while we deal with the political infighting that's taking over in the, in the governing PC party. I think it's clear that uh, Mr. Morton is uh, not prepared to run for the leadership uh, based on the budget Thank that Mr. Your, uh, Stelmack has uh, managed to uh, pilot through the caucus. Um, it indicates the division in the Progressive Conservative Party. It indicates to me that there's going to be a very uh, rancorous uh, period of time when they, pe when they pick their new leader. Their campaign, uh, their leadership campaign is going to be pretty rough, I think, uh, and it will expose the divisions in the Conservative Party. And on that Politically happy note, speaking, thank you Brian Mason all. says Sorry, a Morton-led PC party would be great news for the New Democrats. But it would be extremely bad for the Wild Rose Alliance. And in fact, despite Danielle Smith's um, brave face that she put on just now, um, that is the prospect that terrifies them the most.